it over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. And he also has a great newsletter. Now, coming up, you're going to have a real treat. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, a week from tomorrow, next Wednesday, he is going to be doing a uh, live webinar that's going to go from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., okay? Uh, so check it out on the front page of TFNN. Uh, bottom line, topics that are going to be covered. We're going to be talking about entry and exit points, addressing where to add and subtract in the positions. Uh, bottom line, let's get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, right here so he can talk to us about exactly what he's going to be uh, teaching out here. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Very good. Thank you. Good. So let, let's talk a little about the webinar first, Basil. So, in over the over the decades, what I've been doing is slowly trying to refine to make it as simple as possible to identify particular patterns within the Chapman Wave methodology, and uh, to to that regard, I've refined it to the point where um, I I look at the the charts, and in every single chart you can see. There's a straight line up and a straight line down at some point, and then there's a, a cup or an arch formation. It could be an yes. V, but it's basically going from one point down and then going back to that point. Okay. And just like you, like you try to assess, you look at volume and try to assess what the volume is when you go back to a particularly important point. So I like to do that, and I use my own technical indicators. So I look at three patterns: straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation, and then I draw in patterns that mix the two. One and two would be uh, the green where it goes up, makes a cup formation, and how it takes out the left side high or gets uh, meets re uh, resistance is very important. And on the downside, that's mixing one and three, you come straight down and then you make the arch formation. How it tests that left side low is very important. And even just out the glimpsing on the charts on the left here, you can see we've got these patterns right here. So what I've been trying to do, and I, what I like very much is during my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, I like to demonstrate live what we're looking at. So, you know, when you look back, when you look at the textbooks, of course the textbooks are perfect. First of all, the person choosing to make the textbook has chosen the ones that work perfectly. And um, you're going to have a reference point that historic. I like to make it projections so even today uh, during my during my show and then I also uh, sub in uh, Larry's hour because he was unable to do that I showed a particular chart patterns and I showed how you can draw in a time sequence so from the left side moving up to the right side could be the same number of bars I just finished this in fact some of the people in the den would have seen me doing this live I had already drawn in this left side green line to the midpoint, that little kind of doji, which is always a very good sign. He has a doji candle at the top. He has a doji candle at the bottom. You don't even have to know what the chart is. I'm telling you, it's the E-mini one-minute chart. doesn't matter that it's one. If you were looking at this chart, you'd have no idea whether this is a one-minute or a monthly chart because charts repeat. There's a, there's a fractal of human nature that gets repeated over and over. We go from... Uh, ex excessivity or uh, too enthusiastic to very de uh, very depressed or very low. And that's what the market basically does. And I showed that there was a time sequence from the left side to the right side in an arch formation and that one particular pe period would be over here and the next one I drew in would be right here. And that, here it is. It's two bars late and it missed going to the exact left side low of uh, 13.52. Now what we do, if I invert that, You'll see that this is exactly what I will I'll be teaching. I use the one-minute chart only because you can get weeks or days of, of, of uh, positioning in a very short term. So it's like a, an yes. accelerated lesson. Right. Because what happens, which is really great, folks, is that when Basil is doing this live, what ends up happening is that when a system works, it works whether it's a one-minute, five-minute, ten-minute weekly. So you get is, you, you get to get to see that on a continual basis live, which is so cool. Yeah, there's and no because doubt. Because you don't, you, no one knows what the next bar is really going to do. Right. What you're projecting either works or it doesn't work, right. and that's that's the proof of the pudding. So in this cup formation that I love to talk about, that that's the uh, number two was the cup formation. Look at this: the Dow has formed a cup formation, 
And my objective always in the chat wave, and this is what I'll be teaching as well. I do that live during the day when I do my show. I talk about how, trying to identify the lowest low and then counting each successively bar. It's on that fourth highest bar, alphabetized A, P, B, P, C, P, D, at that fourth highest bar that other things can happen. Well, lo and behold, we've been long since the low of the Dow. Uh, back on the 17th of June, and we've had a number of uh, diamonds, uh, the long diamond positions, and we still have. And there was this doji candle at what? The fourth highest peak, peak D. And that's where I say to subscribers, we've got to be a little bit cautious here. So the high that was made at 32,972, and what I was saying is 32,900 should be strong resistance. Here we are in leg D. The QQQ which is what we have a very aggressive uh, long position via the TQQQ, three times long. Um, we've been taking a little bit soft because they're basically trading uh, vehicles, very wonderful trading vehicles, but holding them long term, you really have to be in the up move for a while because anytime it goes sideways, it's going to shrink, the, the premium will shrink. So we've been taking profits. We took another bit of profit today, up about 28%. Uh, it, uh, these are very nice vehicles. So. There it is, leg D, probably a peak D today. Peak D is where other things can happen. That's what I teach in my courses. And uh, there's another one that we belong is NFE, which this is a, an oil and gas company, New Fortress Energy Inc. A shares natural gas fuel solutions. Here we are. This is the pattern that I was just describing. This is the inverted pattern of that big arch that I was looking at in the one minute chart, the E-mini. Here is NFU up 65 cents today, 50.09. We've been long since about a week ago at 45.51. It's only in leg C. And look at this beautiful left side, the number of bars on the left going from 52.37 high of the 7th of June, came down to the uh, 6th of July at 36.26. And now we're expecting that you've got another day or two to go to try to get to at least 51 close to that left side high. So these are patterns that repeat over and over. And what's exciting about this is it's only leg C in the weekly chart. I'm anticipating a leg D about 52, 37, one penny above stars leg D. So these are these are basically fractals. Uh, these these are daily charts, but we can do that at any point with a, with a one minute chart, five minute chart. And nothing changes. It's just you're looking at a, a different time frame. That's all. And, folks, it's very easy to come into Basil's newsletter. Come over right to our website. You're going to see it right under featured content. Bottom line, it's a week from Wednesday. Just hit that checkout button. Now, what happens, folks, is that you get the, the workshop's $295. You get his full newsletter with that workshop. So it's a huge amount of information. Uh, you're going to be out there, you know, bottom line, six hours, great, great, uh, five hours, great information. And if you can't make it, folks, it's archived. So you can basically go over it again and again. And the rea reality is that you want to go over it a few times anyway, no doubt. Basil, yeah. you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show to, uh, tomorrow, and we really appreciate you doing those two hours, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.